Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Ines. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or video requests, make sure to drop a line in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 300 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys, including this one. Because this is one of the most repeated questions on my channel. I keep replying to the same question over and over. I'm tired, man. So I will make a video. Whoever gets the same question can easily watch it and fix the thing he's trying to do. Which is how to hide the address on your Shopify store. And what I'm talking about because if you use your own personal address on the account, customers that actually order products from your Shopify store will get your exact address in the email and also in the packaging slip. So how to hide that email? That's very easy. That's exactly what I'm about to show you in this video. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, by the way, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. Each video adds small, tiny customizations, but the video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. So everything in here has been done tutorials, as you can see, many, many things there you will need application for them. I did them by using your own custom code. Even the recent sales on your Shopify store, as you can see, by using your own custom code, or you want to see something that will make you more money, check this out. As you can see, I have four products added to the cart and I didn't check out yet, right? And this is the mouse cursor. I want to act just like I want to leave or close the page. And this thing will show up, which is abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and it will only show up by when the user trying to leave or close the page. And this is actually by using your own custom code, but I'll let you decide. Yeah, I know, you want to hide the address in Shopify, that's exactly what I want to show you. So let me close this one and actually we don't need the Shopify store anymore. So the first thing is make sure you access Shopify dashboard. If you are in Shopify dashboard, click on settings at the bottom left corner right here, simply click on it and it will open up the settings, then click on shipping on delivery or use the search bar to search for it, but I see it in here, shipping and delivery. Click on it and you will see a lot of settings here, here that has to do with shipping, then scroll down a little bit and you will see this option right here, which is package and slip. That's exactly what we need. Then simply click on package and sleep template and it will show you some code in here. And no worries, you don't have to read the code and stuff. Click on the code just like I want to write something and don't. If you are using Windows, click on Control F on your keyboard. I'm on Mac, I'm going to click on Command F and it will show me this tiny, tiny search bar in here. And this tiny search bar will help us find the exact section we're looking for in the code. So simply type in shop, just like you see, then underscore address. I think you can see it clearly, right? Shop underscore address. The next thing you're going to do is hit enter on your keyboard and it will highlight uh, the code in here on the code as you can see this one right here and this is the thing that's causing you trouble. So make sure to select this part however select from the BR from the beginning in here and select the whole line as you can see in the screen is very clear right? Then simply delete it. That's very simple. Now click on save and if I click on preview template it will not show the address at the bottom anymore and as you can see it does not show any address just the emails and the Shopify store. And if you want to revert back to the original state, you can do so by clicking on this simple revert to default. But I'm sure you don't want to do that. Again, if you have any video requests or any questions, make sure to drop them below. Now we'll be happy to make a video for you just like this one. But for now, I think my job it is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.